an invisible ponytail using Peruvian hair. I'll have the link for that down there. You can get some. I think I might like this Peruvian hair more than some other hair that I've used before. Um, and if the video looks a little chopped and screwed, it's because I gotta admit I made a major error. So I had to redo it and I wanted to show you guys how to do it perfectly without, you know, all of the chops and screws. Uh, but I'll walk you through it. Monet Ever for hair makeuplog.com, Monet Everett.com, and bridesmadeup.com. So this is my hair a few days after roller set started to curl up a bit and that was the Peruvian hair I'm going to be using. Here is the net that I'm going to use. Notice it's like a cap. It could fit over my whole head. I've used it for a wig base before but it just makes it easier that it's able to grab around my head. So I use duck pill clips to hold it in place and this is just a thick L'Oreal um, concealer crayon you can use any light concealer crayon you want to trace out your uh, your cornrows just make sure it's light enough that you can see it once you remove the net you certainly don't want to use any eyeliner that's black brown blue because when you take it off you won't be able to see what you're outlining you know that's the whole point right once I take it off it'll make more sense see see you can see your outline you notice you see it here it is on my friendly mannequin girl. You know she come in handy when I don't want to work on my own head anymore. I am going to outline, meaning sew around the base in a U-shaped pattern, and then just put the cornrows about an inch above, continuing until it gets flat on the top. Tons of tutorials I've done, I'll put them in the bottom. I'm using multiple types of clips. First off, these little push combs. They really come in handy for the flat look we're going to do. And then the two pay clips. This is a few days later when I'm redoing this look. Uh, so here's a better look at my cornrows. The ends that I do not want to be out in my ponytail, I'm simply bobby pinning them out the way directly in the center because that will help with the width of your ponytail. When putting on your hair piece, I recommend that you take a slide clip and you slide in one side, then you slide in the other, then you push down the two in the center and the two pay clips just go on the very corners for keeping the hair down smooth. Mind you, so I've taken out my leave out all around the perimeter and almost forgot to pin down the back of the hair. But I don't like to use two pay clips on the bottom of my hair. Mind you, my hair is far finer than most people watching this video. So things I have to do a little bit uh, differently. I'm just smoothing out my edges to cover and lay over the tracks. If you had fuller hair or more of a leave out, this would simply cover up the tracks. For me, because my hair is so fine, I always have to have a little bit of volume when I cover up my tracks. And if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm in New York and it's freaking hot as Jesus. That's why you see my hair blowing and me sweating a little bit because Lord, I was working hard. So to go into my um, pretty funky ponytail look, I'm using my 3 4 inch curling iron and I wrapped it around the barrel um, horizontally going down the barrel. The first way I wrapped it because this leave out is in three sections. The first one was going back towards the ponytail. Notice the second section is coming towards the face. That's going to help create volume. I see a lot of Hollywood starlets with this look like Jennifer Lopez and Zendaya Coleman and Zelina Gomez and all that other good stuff. Just make sure when you get to the front that you curl the hair back because you want the hair to go back. It's not like the old pompadour or poof look. It's just going to give me some sexy volume and not have my hair completely flat. I'm going to a movie premiere tonight, so you know, I got to look good. I keep a movie, y'all, called the Starks Coalition. I'm just going to pin those curls while they set and you know I'm singing along because it's a happy day baby going to the movie premiere. Simply put this leave out back into the ponytail and that is a pure rubber holder so it allows me to pull my hair super super tight. What I got three go rounds so notice that my ponytail is nice and smooth so just pulling my hair back on a pony would have worked, but I want to jazz it up a little bit. I'm still using that 3 4 inch curling iron because I'm going to go for a really textured look. And I'm just wrapping random sections around the curl, curling iron. And once it gets hot, I release it and go to the next. Once again, random horizontal uh, sections around the curling iron. 
gets hot, let it go. Now let's get back to this ponytail. Oh yeah, a little bit of teasing, piecing out because we don't want it to look old school. And I have a few tricks on making it look really, really pretty. Still wrapping it about. Now let's take down this top. Spray it with a little bit of reshaper. I feel like that works awesome for my non-relaxed natural hair. A little bit of teasing, give me some volume. I want this really sexy, piecey look. If you notice something isn't curling right for you, just go back and redo it. There are no rules to uh, how you do your own hair. The bottom line is getting it right. Don't worry about those straighter ends because it's going to work out really nicely in the ponytail. A little bit of back combing. I'm going to pin it down over the ponytail. Keep pinning it until the hair looks more PC. And then I'm taking some hair from the ponytail, which is longer, and I am uh, wrapping it around the base. A little bit of back combing. Y'all know I can't really see myself in this uh, camera, so I got to stop and use the mirror every now and again. Just back comb until it looks Snapshot how you want it then. to. Snapshot then, because tonight I have a premiere for a movie that I worked on, so I'm going to go walk the red carpet and be fabulous. Monet Everport, HairAndMakeupBlog.com.